With hurricane season in full swing, it's important to understand the symbols we see during weather reports that give us key information to keep us safe. Meteorologist Caroline Carruthers is breaking down how to read those maps the National Hurricane Center puts out. Odds are during hurricane season you've seen these maps either on TV or on social media. These are issued by the National Hurricane Center and give us both two and five day forecasts for different areas we're watching in the tropics. On these maps, there are X's, shaded areas, arrows, different colors, and different percentages. But what do these mean? So if you look at the Hurricane Center uh, forecast outlook maps, you'll see uh, X's identifying the area of interest or the area under investigation, where the invest term comes from. And the shaded area is where that system may potentially develop into a tropical depression, tropical storm. These invests may or may not develop, but it is the National Hurricane Center's way of officially starting to look at the system. The arrows on the map indicate in what direction the disturbance is moving. The colors of the X's, arrows, and shaded areas align with a low, medium, or high probability that the disturbance will develop into a tropical depression or storm. Yellow means that it is a low chance, less than 40 percent. Orange means medium chance, 40 to 60 percent. And red means high chance, greater than 60% chance. And that gives you an indication of the confidence level of the National Hurricane Center, uh, what they're thinking in the terms of the potential for development. It is also important to remember to get all of your tropical information from a reliable resource. This includes the National Hurricane Center, the National Weather Service, and your News 5 First Alert Storm Team. In Mobile, meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5.